Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can really easily create a password protected folder. Now this question was submitted to us by one of our users during our live classes. All of our classes, of course, are 100% free and open to the public. If you've never taken one of them, they're a lot of fun. You can find out everything, of course, on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. So to show you how to do this, what I'm going to do is just simply open up iPhoto uh, as an example. I actually have it here on my other screen. I'm just going to take a bunch of photos and I'm just going to dump them on my desktop here so I can use these to demonstrate with. And I'm going to create a new folder, of course, by just secondary clicking and create a new folder. And we can call it whatever we want, so we'll call it protected. And now I'm going to take all of those images and just dump them into that folder. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Spotlight at the top right of your screen and type in the word disk, D-I-S-K, and towards the top you should see Disk Utility. Click on it. From Disk Utility, what you're going to do is click File at the very top, New, not New Window, but New, and then we're going to do Disk Image from Folder. Click on that and we're going to direct it to the folder we've just created, which is on, of course, the desktop. Okay. Hit image at the bottom right. And here where we have encryption, we're going to change that to 128 bit. Hit save. And at this point, what you're going to do is create a password. So in order to open this folder, you're going to need to create a password. I'm just going to put since we're just demonstrating the word password. Be careful of this. By default, it checks to remember the password in the keychain, which would kind of defeat the purpose. So let's uncheck that. Hit OK. It doesn't take that long, depending on how much stuff you actually have in this folder. Now when we're done, we're ultimately going to have two copies of this. What we just created, the folder, and the disk image. And you can see it right now up here at the top right of my screen. So at this point, we can trash the folder. And now when I double click on protected.dmg, we have to enter in that password. And there you go. We've got it all. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you happen to have been watching this video on YouTube, one really, really easy way you can actually support our organization is just by simply clicking the little like button below the video. Uh, and I hope you'll check out our website because we have a ton of these videos all available 24-7. This is David A. Cox. You all have a wonderful day. Take care.